a series of new advanced home roam defense hardware with special capabilities, including smart subsurface vessels along with missiles and speedboats, were delivered to the IRGC Navy on Tuesday. The new armaments were handed over during a ceremony attended by top military officials, including the IRGC Chief Hossein Salami, in the southern port city of Bandar Abbas. For the first time, the IRGC naval fleet was unequipped with domestically developed smart submarines, which will significantly boost its capabilities in detecting and thwarting subsurface threats. The new speedboats, which feature high maneuverability, are capable of traveling at up to 95 knots. They can also carry and fire various missiles and rockets. The IRGC Navy was also furnished with new maneuverable missiles, whose range has been increased and can be used in electronic warfare, Press TV reported. The explosive and destructive power of the new missiles has been enhanced in comparison with the previous versions. Addressing the ceremony, IRGC Navy Commander Ali Reza Tingsiri said the smart submarines opened a new chapter in his forces' capabilities in various operations. For his part, Salami said, the barriers of the sanctions are flimsy for our youths, who have built all the equipment in the era of the enemy's cruel and tough sanctions. They have neutralized the sanctions. Major General Salami highlighted the significance of upgrading the defense power and adopting new methods to boost national military power. With the addition of smart subsurface vessels, the geometrical structure of the IRGC naval power was completed at surface, above the surface, subsurface, and land vehicles, Major General Salami stated. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made substantial headway in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in the arms sphere. Iranian officials have repeatedly underscored that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, including its missile power, which are entirely meant for defense, and that Iran's defense capabilities will be never subject to negotiations. Leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei has repeatedly called for efforts to maintain and boost Iran's defense capabilities, hitting back at the enemies for disputing the country's missile program. On Sunday Iran claimed responsibility for a missile barrage that struck near a sprawling U.S. consulate complex in northern Iraq, saying it was retaliation for an Israeli strike in Syria that killed two members of its Revolutionary Guard earlier this week. No injuries were reported in the attack on the city of Erbil, which marked a significant escalation between the US and Iran. Hostility between the longtime foes has often played out in Iraq, whose government is allied with both countries. Iran's submarine fleet is in dry dock. While Iran has been saber-rattling about confronting the US and other countries, its navy looks more like a floating wreck than a real challenge. This is because, although Tehran keeps showing off new ships and weapons, several of its Kilo-class submarines are out of the water. According to a report at Uzni News by H.I. Sutton on January 31, Iran's best submarines have been out of the water for a month. The 3,000-ton Kilo-class submarines all appear to be in dry dock, the report said, adding, they are based at Bandar Abbas near the Strait of Hormuz at the entrance to the Persian Gulf. The Russian-built boats are armed with up to 18 torpedoes and can remain submerged for several days at a time. They are, logically, central to the Iranian Navy's ability to defend the country. So, why are they sitting on land? The author, an expert on such matters, speculates there may be a wider serviceability issue. What that means is unclear, but Iran has had problems with its ships in the past and often has issues getting parts for its large platforms. The issue faced by the Islamic Republic is that, while it is good at building drones and missiles, it has an issue when it comes to helicopters, airplanes and ships. Iran under sanctions has not been able to modernize many parts of its regular army and navy. That means it has to rely on ships and planes that are many decades old. Sometimes Iran even uses old US Boeings, C-130s and other planes from the era of the Shah.
Iran still has several smaller 600-ton FATA-class submarines, but they also don't seem to be active," Sutton wrote. Iran's submarines are not ancient, they were built in the 1990s. However, it is unclear what is wrong also with them and how this setback may harm Iran's capabilities.